everyone. Thank you for joining today. I will go ahead and share my PowerPoint, do a little intro of myself, and then introduce our panelists as well. So my name is Jenna. I joined Amazon about a year ago. Um, I'm a university recruit, so I started with Amazon through an internship, and then afterwards, I accepted the full-time offer. I am a recruiter representing Amazon operations and my specialty in recruiting is area manager roles and we'll get into that today later. Um, I will pass along the intro to Angel. Hi Jenna, thank you so much. Hi guys, my name is Angel. I'm currently a site leader at Amazon out here in Northboro, Massachusetts. Um, started with Amazon uh, through the internship program back in the junior year, so summer of 2018. So very familiar with the internship program, accepted a role. Um, afterwards um, as an area manager and also had the opportunity to also host interns. So I was an intern manager at one point as well. But yes, been with Amazon for almost four years now and excited to be here and speak with you all today. Hello all, I'm Lauren Bauer. I am an LG operations manager uh, based out of Edison, New Jersey at LGAI. I've been with Amazon about two and a half years now. Started my career, I was actually in fashion. My uh, bachelor's is in fashion, fashion merchandising. So I spent almost uh, 14 years competing with Amazon. And then I came to the realization, you know, if you can't uh, beat them, you might as well join them. So I was with Forever 21 and then I joined Amazon. Uh, I actually had a coworker that recruited me over to Amazon and I have been with um, the Source Center ever since. Hello everyone, I am Veronica Damian. I am a level five area manager at LGA5, uh, located in Edison, New Jersey. Um, I went to Baruch College where I studied operations management. Fun fact, I never applied to any job other than area manager at Amazon because I never wanted to work anywhere else. Amazon was the go-to and I was not gonna accept anything different. And there it goes, I'm here. Thank you everyone. All right, I'll go ahead and get into the overview of today. So just a quick intro like we did. Um, we believe, excuse me, we believe future Amazonian exists everywhere. So to build the Earth's most consumer-centric company, our responsibilities to discover student leaders and inspire them to meet their full potential. So this role uh, or the role that we're about presenting today is area managers and area manager interns. And we believe people come from all different kinds of backgrounds, different majors, different GPA, and different experiences. So we would love to just share a little bit more about that today. Um, for this particular role, um, you don't have to be from a specific major or worry that you have to have like five or six years of experience. We want to make sure we're presenting this opportunity in front of everyone of all different backgrounds and all different diversity um, choices. All right. I uh, want to go over the leadership principle for at Amazon, and I will let our leaders share some of their personal, personal leadership principle as well and what they value. Uh, we have 16 here. Um, just a quick overview. We have customer reception, ownership, event and simplify, are right a lot, learn to be curious, hire and develop the best, insist on the higher standards, thinking big, bias for action, frugality, earn trust, dive deep, have backbone, disagree and commit, dis deliver result, and thrive to be Earth's best employer. And success and scale bring broad responsibility. I know that sounds like a big list, so I want to go ahead and have our leaders share a little bit about what they value and which leadership principle they think is the best. So I will go ahead and have Lauren start off. I mean, I think all the leadership principles we really insist on these on a daily basis. Um, personally, I am passionate about earning trust. Uh, I'm a people leader, and I enjoy working with right down to the tier one associates on a daily basis. So I think it's really important to get that buy-in from your team and then get people to want to work for you at the end of the day. Um, in terms of, uh, I think, learn and be curious. Uh, here at Amazon, we say every day, every day is day one, there's always something to learn um, and it's constantly changing. So you work in an environment where uh, learning and being curious really constitutes uh, just having that mentality that every day is your day one um, and being open to learn do um, in terms of the operation, new items, or, you know, it's just constantly being able to adapt yourself um, to uh, learning something new on a daily basis. So I think that's really important. Um, also, customer obsession, right? So customers at the end of the day is who we come in day in, day out for. So I think it's really important just to 
always have them at the helm of the operation on a daily basis. Every day we're coming in to strive to meet that customer problem. So I think it's really important to always have that at the back of your mind at the end of the day. Thank you. Any other input from our other leaders at Amazon? Yeah, I'll jump in real quick. Um, two of the ones that I really think resonate with me are definitely um, on top of all of them, honestly. Um, soon you're going to know them all with the back of your hands if you work here at Amazon. Um, are invent and simplify. As much of a big company, as much of a big company we are, Amazon is a great place for leaders to come in and really get to um, change whatever they want. Um, well, to an extent, right? Um, it's super, the team is super creative. We're always open to new ideas, revisiting even old ideas. It's a great place where people can come together, collaborate and innovate. And the company um, does have a lot of teams that come together to help make that possible. If your idea makes sense, we're going to try it. And I think that is something that not every company provides that um, Amazon definitely pushes for. So inventing and simplifying. Um, Hire and develop the best uh, is also another leadership principle that resonates with us really well. We have a lot of people that work here at Amazon, a lot of people from all different walks of life. As Jenna mentioned, you don't have to be in operations or have any kind of business or operations background to work here as an area manager. We really have people coming from all different backgrounds, and it's great to see that um, leaders can come together and we work together to, to develop others. Thank you very much. I will go ahead and go into the site types today, but thank you for sharing your experiences. Um, before we do that, I wanna share a little bit about our affinity group. Um, so being part of Amazon, we try to be as inclusive and diverse as much as we can. And sometimes that might not be within your team, but there's always affinity groups that you can join. Personally, I really love the Asians at Amazon, but if you're into like eco-friendly groups or sports group or um, African-American or Latinos at Amazon, uh, we could also there's also always a group for you. So just depending on where you like to plug in, but um, that's a little bit my personal, like, um, excuse me, that's a little bit of my personal experience of like being part of different group besides just within recruiting role. So I will let Lauren um, exp share a little bit about the fulfillment center and just a quick overview of everything. Yes, I'm seeing uh, there's some feedback that uh... My audio is not coming out clear, so I do apologize for that. Uh, let me know, maybe chat in the chat box, obviously, if everyone is on mute, if it's becoming a little bit better. Uh, so site sites. So we start at FC. So FC is basically where the magic starts to happen. Uh, fulfillment Centers is a warehouse-style building that stores products and fulfills customer orders. It's our Amazon, but it's the heart of our operation where we pick and pack everything, uh, where then it goes over to what we call sort centers. So we have different kinds of sort centers as well. We have Amazon Robotics. Uh, these buildings, it's actually in my building, we are an Amazon robotic building. It uses uh, robots to help us to fulfill cu customer orders at the end of the day. We actually have Robin arms. So we have 20 Robin arms that we use on a daily basis. We have cross docks. Cross docks help us maximize our efficiency. Basically, it's the product coming in and then going right back out. There's no solicitation involved. So wherever we're, we are receiving product from, it's going um, directly to a delivery station. We have sort centers, which what I said is actually um, what I work in and what I have worked in in my tenure at Amazon. So these operations uh, can house to separate buildings within in, separate building or within an existing facility. Sort centers uh, receive packages from FCs, organize them by zip code, and then we go ahead and send them back out. And then we have moving down to delivery stations are also known as AMZLs. They are located in more urban areas or cities and help us facilitate the delivery of packages to congested areas. Uh, these locations are much smaller than our typical FCs and contain a smaller headcount, but are critical components to helping Amazon go to the last mile. We also have Amazon Pharmacy. Amazon Pharmacy is a pharmacy designed to provide the best possible customer experience in the U.S. for people who take multiple daily prescriptions. Amazon uh, Pharmacy delivers medications in pre-sorted uh, dose packaging, coordinates refills and renews, and makes sure shipments are shipped on time. And then we have our Fresh in Our Pantry. Our Fresh in Our Pantry uh, de deliver groceries, everyday essentials, and household products to customers. They're typically located um, 
typically located within a traditional FC, but have their own climate controlled areas to ensure the items are stored properly and shipped out properly. Uh, moving on to, we have our transportation operations manage management, also known as our Tom team. So our Tom team is the magic happen out in our yard. So they are located in FCs and store centers. They're constantly moving the trucks to doors for us on a continuous basis and again, help us fill the customer promise at the end of the day. Uh, we have our global specialty fulfillment, GSF. GSF exists solely to meet the goal of quick accuracy and delivery. GSF is a con conglomerate of different operations and support teams. There's a wide variety of business within one organization. Uh, all have their own goals and duties to help us deliver the last mile of customer service. And then we have AIR. So LDA5 recently launched um, international freight. So we have essentially what that means is we're delivering directly um, outside of the country. So AIR, uh, we have Amazon AIR, the middle mile network that was developed to create faster deliveries for our customers by leveraging Amazon's own fleet of airplanes for package uh, transportation. It's a different type of sortation, but it's definitely um, very interesting that we can get uh, customers out uh, internationally. We're servicing 23 mm -hmm. countries right now, so it's pretty incredible. Yeah. So as you can tell, Amazon is huge. Um, we don't hire just engineers or like marketing positions and sharing all these different sites is just to give everyone a bigger picture of like where we really need or love to have people of all different experiences. There are so many different sites that you can be part of. If you into groceries or global or air or transportation, there's always a place for you. And just, I just want to emphasize this again, um, your experience is always enough. Like don't feel like you don't have enough experience or you need to have like four or five different internships to join Amazon. Um, it is a place that's inclusive for everyone of all backgrounds. So uh, as you can tell from Lauren, we got so many different sites and I'll go ahead and hand it to Angel and she'll talk about the internship opportunity. And let me get to the slide. Awesome. So I'm also seeing a lot of questions um, kind of pop up, which we'll get into more of during the Q&A. Um, but first, like area manager internship, when can you start? We typically recruit our juniors or uh, our juniors um, during the normal fall or spring recruiting season. And like Jenna said, it's really open to anybody of any major, right? As long as you pitch an interest to us, um, you can and then go through the application process, you could potentially be joining us as an area manager. Um, an area manager intern is an eight week internship program that happens during the summer. Um, I'll quickly answer one of the Q&A questions of do you need to relocate for this program? It's really dependent um, we do have um, buildings all across the United States, so there is a potential to relocate for the internship, and then there is a potential to not have to relocate. So it's very flexible. Um, I personally went to school in Boston. I'm not from Boston. I was in um, Pennsylvania, and I wanted to spend the summer at home, so I relocated to technically relocated back home for the summer internship. Um, but then afterwards, when I accepted my job, I started took a job in Massachusetts where I was going to school. So it's really very flexible because we have so many locations all across the United States. Um, within the internship program, you do get to work on a, uh, you do, if you've never been in a warehouse, and by what I mean by a warehouse, it's not your typical BJ's or Costco's. It's a very different environment, but it's super cool because there's all different um, walks of life that are there. Some people, um, but then you get to meet not only people within operations, the associates, but you get to meet people from the HR teams, our safety teams, our transportation teams, our IT teams, our facilities and maintenance teams. It really exposes you to kind of what the greater Amazon has to offer. So within this internship program, you are paired with an intern manager who helps guide you through a particular intern project. Um, that project is something that could be anything from an associate concern. It could be anything that involves a process improvement in which then you write a paper or anything to kind of display what your action is. And what's great is through this internship program, you have visibility with senior leaders at the site to also get to talk about how your project is going because the project problem that they give you is something that they really care about. So they really want to know what your solution is. So when I remember when I was an intern, it was daunting, but also super um, 
encouraging to sit down with these senior leaders. And they were truly interested in hearing the analysis that I had done and what I wanted to share. So um, that definitely sold me when I was within the program. And um, that project I also took on to help with in my senior year as well, which was good. Um, but besides that intern project, we also got to spend a lot of time on the floor and you get to see like, you know, do I like this super fast paced team environment that Amazon is, um, but a great internship program. So I highly recommend any of you guys that are interested to apply to it, to get to learn more, to see if operations is something that you'd be interested in. Thank you. Um, if you could give out three tips for the candidates to apply for an internship, um, what are some advice you would give to them and help them to be successful in center in this role and just getting the opportunity at Amazon? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the a couple that I would give, number one is definitely be prepared, right? Don't walk into an interview not prepared. Don't assume that because, you know, you hear about Amazon every day, you read up on us on the news, that that quite means that you're interview ready. Interview ready would mean, you know, we do send candidates um, a packet of what we call our star interview method. Definitely go through that. Go through our leadership principles. Um, but with that being said, like, don't spit fire leadership principles left and right. Um, the interviewers that people, the people that you're interviewing with, like, understand, well, like leads to my second point, understand your audience. Um, the people that you're interviewing with are operations leaders, right? They hear these leadership principles day in and day out. What we want to hear more of is what, how you use them in your everyday life, right? Not just how, what you think about the leadership principles conceptually, but also how they have maybe um, you've, we've applied them in your everyday life, whether that be through a class project, through a extracurricular activity where you show that leadership and that willingness to learn. Um, those I think are the two big um, it, tips and advice that I would give. And number three, which you guys probably hear all the time, is really be yourself, right? We want to hear more about you, what your character is, what you like to do inside and outside of work, and why we encourage examples um, during these interviews uh, from things not just in your schoolwork, but like I said, within your extracurricular, within your family life, and all those sort of things. So I will leave it off with that. Thank you. All right, we'll talk about the area manager full-time role. Already on, it's just one slide, but we have a lot to cover. So lead, manage, and develop a team of 50 to 100 Amazon associates. So on a daily basis, you have about 150 associates in the building, and you are responsible for their safety and their performance. So there is nothing more important than safety. We want everyone to come in healthy and also leave the building healthy. Um, you are there as a as a resource for the associates um, and you're there to provide them with, um, well, to set goals for them and then also help them achieve those goals. Um, communicate policies uh, to associates and act as the primary information source for the team, maintaining compliance, consistency, and taking corrective action when needed. So our associates, when they just start working with us, they don't know about all the standards and rules and policies that we have in place and it is not their responsibility. That is ours to let them know what those policies are, um, explaining to them in detail and hold them accountable if they are not compliant. Uh, my favorite, uh, create, manage, and support recognition projects and uh, communication programs. So recognition is very important. I think it's important regardless of what level um, you're on. Uh, it, shows, it shows everyone that you that we value the work that they do, the effort that they put in on a daily basis. Um, it helps them feel more appreciated, motivated, and just simply more excited to come into work. Um, Amazon is the perfect place for creativity. So we constantly are working on uh, different kinds of projects um, to recognize our associates. And we also try to find different ways for different people um, because everyone likes to to be shown appreciation in different ways. Some really enjoy just a genuine thank you. And that's what we do. And others like that thank you to be in writing uh, with some kind of support as in data, what kind of, if they had a really good rate and let's say scanning, um, we have some very competitive people working with us. Um, we give out fun pins and we create competitions and um, our people take pride in working at Amazon. So they always love receiving swag, something with Amazon logo on it. Um, I could just showcase one. 
something from Amazon with a bunch of pins. We love that. Um, so support all safety programs and OSHA compliance to ensure a safe work environment for all associates. Um, this is, it's probably important to mention that this is not a sitting office job. So not getting hurt is a little, it's gonna require a little more attention and a little more effort. And like I said before, nothing more important than safety. We want you in healthy, out healthy. Um, and we would prefer not to fix any safety issues. We will if we have to, but we would prefer to avoid them in the first place. Um, so safety teams will always share what, uh, what kind of injuries are taking place in other buildings. So that information is shared. So we know what to avoid, what kind of action plan we can take to protect our associates. Um, and we have to ensure that people working in certain areas that they have the proper training for that area. Um, because that if they are not trained in a certain area and they're there, they just don't know how to be safe there. They, so it is your responsibility yeah. to make sure that everyone is in the right place. Could you share a little bit about um, why you like area manager or um, what is your average day-to-day -day life look like? So if it's somebody's their first week, what, the, what should they expect? Or what are some underrated tips or overrated tips that you wish you knew beforehand? Um, so uh, when you just start um, first week, you have the associate experience. So it is an important week where you learn every single role in the building. Um, it is good for you just to know to be able to be a resource for associates when they have questions on how to perform their job correctly. Um, it is good to just know what, what is it that the associates experience on a, on a daily basis. So that's very important. Um, so you do that for about a week. The next week you do, um, you follow a path of a process assistant, also known as a PA. Um, these, are, uh, these are the people um, that are staying in very close contact with, uh, with associates. They're giving guidance, constantly answering all the kind of questions that they might have. Um, and uh, the week after that, so your third week is your area manager week. So you are shadowing uh, your future colleagues where they teach you exactly what it is that you're gonna be doing on, on a daily basis. What are the expectations? How to, see, how to see rates, how to come up with a plan, the right questions to ask, um, how much volume we're going to have in the building, like how long should the shift be and things like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Laura and Angel, do you have any input or thoughts about your experience and your role or being an operation leader and being an area manager or site leaders? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I came, I came, I didn't come in as an intern, so I came in as an LSIC operations manager. So I think the biggest thing is, especially uh, anyone coming in externally, um, there's just, there's a lot of verbiage to learn. Uh, but the good news is that Amazon is really uh, very thorough on, on their training. So we have a, we have what we call KNET. So we have, you actually spend your first week virtually, right? So you're learning the whole background of Amazon, the leadership principles, what we're trying to instill in our, our corporation here. And then you, like Veronica was talking about, you go by step-step basis where you're learning all the process paths. So, in order to be able to coach that, I think that you have to learn it yourself, right? So when she's talking about leaning and managing 200 employees, you have to know what they're doing on a day to day basis. So then you can go back and really coach it and develop the team at the end of the day. So it is a lot of, uh, like I said, verbiage, but we have a, basically a wicked PDA here that will teach you anything and everything that you need to know about Amazon. So all the planning um, aspects, I think I saw one in one of the Q&As, you need to know statistics. It's, it's basically, um, you know, like I said, learn and be curious. It's a different operation every day and it changes and it evolves every day. So you do learn trends over time. Um, specific statistics, I would say no. I would say it's more about uh, like learning the trend of the overall operation and then you kind of learn what triggers to pull on a day to day basis based off the trend that you see on a daily basis over time. Yeah, I'll jump in real quick. Um... So I've been an area manager, L4, L5, been an operations manager, been a senior ops, and now currently a site leader. Um, Amazon definitely has um, very fast 
is a very fast paced environment. Um, we do over obsess over our customers as well as the detail that goes into our plans like Veronica had mentioned. Um, day to day life, I like to sometimes analogize as it kind of feels like a video game you're playing, right? There's different metrics, different variables that are changing every day that makes no day the same and therefore makes it almost very exciting. Like you'll never do the same thing twice almost. Um, nothing quite feels repetitive, which is super great, right? Because, you know, staring at a computer all day can definitely get mind boggling. Um, so because no day is the same, it really keeps you kind of on your toes, making sure that you're checking your metrics properly. Um, and for that side, you know, it's really relieving at the end of the day when we can see the impact that we have on our customers or on our associates, right? Making sure that every package leaves the door, there's no package left behind. And then from an associate perspective, because you get to work with such a large team, and, and I'm pretty confident to say no other company is gonna, is gonna put you in charge of 50 to 100, 200 associates right off the bat um, coming out of college, it kind of, it puts you in a position where you learn a lot about their lives. You really get to know them as people. Um, I always like to say, you know, everyone on the floor, they're gonna know more about one particular thing in this world um, more than you are. And so it's great to have that kind of like learning experience. So if you're someone where all those things, that innovation, that um, energy like speaks to you, like this could definitely be a great role for you. It's very hands-on, um, but it's never boring. And I will promise you that. Thank you, especially during peak season. Uh, <laughs> all right. So then I would love to share a little bit about our career path and I will let Lauren take over this part. Um, typically, so we have our tier one associates, um, is what uh, is our, I guess, our, our bottom level over at Amazon itself. And then we have tier, tier three, I see some folks are uh, chatting that they started as process assistants. So we have ship clerk process assistants that are our tier three role. Uh, we also have support teams with us. So we have, um, we have IT, we have PXC, which is our HR team. We have safety teams, we have learning teams that all work together with the operations team in order to make the operation run on a daily basis. Um, you folks were talking about the area manager role. So the area manager role is an L4 role. It also um, has the growth to move up to an L5 role. So we have L4s and L5s are both area managers. It is a salaried role. Um, you are responsible, like I said, for all of the tier one associates on the shift. Um, but you're also in charge of the tier three, which, like I said, are 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 our process assistants as well as our ship clerk. Um, and then that moves up to operations manager. So also a salary role. That is what I am. From here, it's uh, that starts as an L6. The L7 is the senior ops manager role. Um, then we have L8, which is our site lead as well as our general manager role. These are the people that are responsible for the entire building and maintain the main POC for regionals and directors. Then we have regional director of operations. So this person is responsible for the entire region itself. And then we have the director of operations, which is responsible for the worldwide operations. Um, I can't see the, the side where it says other roles, but I'm assuming that is the support role. So like I said, we also have learning team PXC, which is also our known as our HR teams that work with us. Um, we have IT teams. Um, in my building, we have uh, r &E as well, which takes care of our robots here in the building. So plenty of teams that work together in order to make the uh, operation kind of twofold and work day over day. Thank you. Um, question is, what are some advice or tips that you leaders would give to someone who will want to move up to the next level or want to improve themselves. Maybe they want to go from an area manager to operation manager or operation to site manager. What are the common characteristics and skill set that you guys find are successful and just growing their career path within operation? Yeah, I think it kind of goes for, for any career path that you're going for, right? So Coming in, um, I can let Veronica talk a little bit about this too, because she was promoted from an L4 to an L5 area manager. Um, but I think it's consistency. We have what we call, we have projects that we work on. So it's consistency, stability, uh, really going above and beyond for your site itself, taking on projects that are kind of outside the realm of your standard work expectation. Um, I think all of those characteristics are what we look for when we're looking to promote people, especially within the building. Hmm. 
Angel, thank you, Lauren. Angel, since you're a uh, Siley and you have came into Amazon through an internship, what was your career path like? And what has helped you the most or lessons that you have learned? Yeah, so my career path very much followed the one that is on the screen right now from <laughs> that Lauren has shared. Um, definitely within every level, you kind of get a little bit of an awakening um, on how your scope and the scale of your role changes. And I would say always walk in with, you know, be humbly confident, right? You're confident knowing that like you are moving that you are being promoted and you're being recognized for a reason for the accomplishments and the things that you do, but be humble about all of it, right? Within every level, within every day, we're constantly learning. Um, we have this motto of it's always day one and it true that is truly the case here at Amazon. We change things so quickly that you never quite, the moment you feel somewhat comfortable or somewhat, yeah, hey, I'm a master at this topic. The next thing you know, we're introducing new metrics, new tools that then don't necessarily reset but that, you know, keep you on your toes to make sure that you're always looking to um, relearn or continuously learn, right? Um, one of the leadership principles that does speak in this area of like the career path at Amazon is that we really insist on the highest standards. We're really about raising the bar when it comes to performance. Um, every, like I mentioned, we, and I talk about diversity a lot, like you have peers from all different backgrounds and it really is beneficial to, you know, connect, connect work, connect with your peers and know that your peer has probably has a strength that you have, like that you don't have, I'm sorry. And that you have a strength that they probably don't have. So it's very mutual to be working together to be working as a team to um, address any problems, to also share best practices with one another, and really not just think about building yourself up, but building your team up, your shift up, your quadrant up, your team, and then your site up, right? That mentality is definitely something that we push for here in Amazon. Um, so I would say, you know, as you're going to this process or as you're joining Amazon as a company, um, we have a lot of growth opportunities that definitely exists. And I would say like, be very open about learning, be open to every opportunity that is out there and you know, always be um, curious about what's going on. And that's definitely gonna be something that um, pushes you forward. Thank you very much. All right, I will go over the recruiting process all right, sometimes applying at jobs, I know it can feel like a maze, like when are my hearing back or what's going on? And um, here is the overview process. So the step one is definitely apply online and few of the basic requirement that we look for is like you must be graduating within May 2021 to August 2023 and open to relocation. Uh, the opportunity is across the whole United States. So we would like to know where you prefer to work so we can best match you at the right locations or the right start day. Um, you must be open to work like evenings or holidays and weekends. And I will share a little bit about our shift schedule because I know some people might think it's a nine to five, but Amazon do open 24 seven. And if it wasn't for the amazing leaders at the fulfillment center, we would not be getting our packages within two days or within the Christmas period. So, and with that said, we'd love for you to be open for relocation, open to work nights and weekends. After you apply online, um, you should hear back within a couple weeks. A interviewer or a person on the team will reach out to you to schedule an interview. So this will be in stage two, where you will be given the interview prep packet, like Angel mentioned, which is the SAR method. It's a great framework to share your experiences. And you will also have the leadership principles. So our questions are wrapped around the leadership principle. We really want to look for potentials, people leaders, and also do you, do you do the job as well? You know, we understand everybody is uh, probably is have a have like a five, six years of experiences, but we want to see if you have potential to lead and work with other people and be curious and wanting to learn. And notes during the second stage, notes will be taken during the interview, but everything in detail will be communicated through you through the email as well. And um, after that, um, if you get an offer, um, this will be in our stage three called placement. So placement is based on three different things. Um, it's based on your location preference, number one, your start day and based on the business need. So for example, 
um, if you're interested in a position in New Jersey in December 2024, that site or that fulfillment center, the spots might have already been filled out. And if that's the case, then we go and try to place you based on your second location preference or based on your start day. So that's why from the very beginning, um, to save your time to save you time, we want to make sure that you're willing to relocate because it's not always 100%. And we want to make sure that you're satisfied and you're not disappointed and you understand uh, what the process looks like. Um, the placement will include your offer. So this is also the time where you kind of go into stage four where it kind of includes the pay and the salary, the stock bonus or relocation um, benefits um, if you're eligible. But overall, this is the overall process. But from the very beginning, um, some of the knockoff questions that I typically look for is just really, do you, are you wanting to open? Um, are you wanting to work evenings and weekends? Are you wanting to relocate? And be sure to take both the assessment of Foley and the application. So on my end, I don't actually get to see Kennedy's resume unless they finish their assessment. So sometimes if you don't hear back or wondering like what is going on, um, maybe that is the first hurdle. Like maybe you haven't taken your assessment fully and I actually never get to see your resume and leave both of us disappointed. But this is basically the overview process. And if you want to know more about this, I can definitely answer that as well. I see that we have a lot of questions here. So we will work through to answer all the questions. And want to just go ahead and share a little bit about the schedule at Amazon so you know what this position looks like. A um, little bit about our potential shift schedule. So we have what we call the first half and versus second half. So the first half is from Sunday through Wednesday and the back half is from Wednesday through Saturday. And the hours vary, but typically there's the evening, which is from 6 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. And there is the daytime, which is from 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Um, this schedule is fixed. They were not very week to week. And it will be assigned to you after your start day. So we want to share this right now. So we're being transparent and being honest as honest as we can. So we don't feel like you're getting tricked into Amazon or anything. We just really want to present this opportunity um, to everyone. But we also want to know that this is a fulfillment center leadership position, um, working with people, utilizing management skills and um, leading by example as well. Um, that's really what I have to share about the recruiting process. And we can go ahead and get to the Q&A. All right. And um, the leaders, Angel, Monica, or Lauren, if you see any questions in the Q&A, if you can, if you have the answer to it, please feel free to type it or answer it live. So one of the questions is, can graduate or master students apply for the internship? Um, I would say, I would say yes, but you just have to be make sure within the graduation day requirement. So you must be within December 2023 to August 2024. So graduation day is really important. So we you want to make sure that you have your graduation day on your resume. And let's see. Are recent graduates eligible for internship? I would say no, because internships are for students with that's currently in a university environment. That's why we have an area manager full time. So you can definitely apply to that as well. And I will send all the links to applied uh, internship and full time. Are those positions only available for Americans and permanent residents? Um, these, I would say you're eligible for the position if you are, if you don't need a uh, sponsorship support. Um, if you do want like sponsorship support, we do have other job availables on our website, but for this particular role, uh, we don't offer sponsorship. 
question is, could you please share how to make a resume stand out among thousands and thousands of candidates? Do HR read all the resumes? Great question. So yes, I personally read all the resumes. Uh, really fun to say over here. Um, but no, I definitely read the resume. And for this particular role, I think what's important is um, just making sure you have your graduation day on there, sharing some experiences, some clubs that you've been part of, or if you are a student athlete, you can put that down. But keep in mind for this particular role, we look for people of all kinds of background. So you really don't, for this particular situation, you don't have to stress too much about having all the experiences on your resume. You know, one to two is great enough because as, as we understand, it's an entry level role. So we want to coach you and train you and help you become a leader. Um, did, I hope that answered your question. But yeah, always have your graduation day on there. Um, and make sure that you don't accidentally send a template of resume. Sometimes I get that too. And I can't really tell your experiences. And that's really it when it comes to the resume checking. All right. Another question is, internship and NRR manager are only available for students in terms of their bachelor degree or also with their associate degree or two plus years of experience. So great question about that. This position is only eligible for students with their bachelor degree, finishing their ba like bachelor degree graduation day from May 2021 to August 2023. So if you're graduating any time during that time frame, you're eligible. However, if you only have an associate degree but have two plus years of experience, um, you would not be eligible for this role. Um, again, the degree require the degree requirement is really important um, just to get your foot in the door. So lots of time candidates are qualified, but they don't have their graduate day on there where they don't update their resume so I'm unable to um, present the opportunity or ask for to schedule interview with you. Yeah I saw a question on there maybe um, Veronica or Lauren if you guys are interested in answering this one someone did ask you know what are some of the common challenges in, that you face day to day as an area manager? Well the hours are a little long so you Oh, going into this position, I think it's important that you understand that it's not going to be a nine to five job and it's not going to be a sitting job. So you are on your feet most of the time. Um, so uh, that's that's something that is useful to know before you apply for this position. Um, holding people accountable, having, having the biggest heart and wanting to just um, ask someone to do a certain thing and hope that they would actually follow with it but sometimes you have to take a different action and um not have it just uh, as a verbal communication but have it in writing and people aren't, aren't always happy but as much as we try we cannot always make everybody happy and again it is all done for safety and to meet all of our goals and to make all of our customers happy yeah another question i see uh any resume tips or experience and skills to highlight in an application i think i saw that a couple times so just to you know, give everyone a heads up, it may be your first time uh, interviewing for a company. We typically use the START method. So you want to kind of tie everything back to a venture. So what the START method is, is the STAR method, actually. Um, you're, you want to initiate a situation, a task, an action, and then the result of that action. Um, so tying everything, I think, back to uh, a metric in itself, uh, is really important when you're applying for Amazon or really just if you're applying anywhere outside. So just keep that method in mind um, as you're answering questions, especially with the recruiters. One more question. Uh, somebody said, how, how does the shift start and end on a Wednesday? So we have front half um, employees and then we have back half employees. The front half employees work Sunday through Wednesday um, and then your back half employees work Wednesday through Sunday. So you're, you're not working 24 hours straight, uh, but as Veronica said, it is uh, approximately 10 to 12 hour shift. Um, so that is a very typical day to day. So just a heads up on that. So when we have both people working on Wednesday, that's our overlap day. So that's a day of meetings and 
uh, where we kind of get together with both teams to discuss any opportunities, et cetera. Saw in the chat, yes, there's a link for Florida. Here it is. I won't be able to put all 50 United States link. I just want to make sure I answer some questions too. But when you apply, you can choose your location preference. So that works too. So you could technically apply at a link that's in the Northeast region, which is like Connecticut, uh, Rhode Island, and New York. But within location preference, you can choose where you want to be uh, where you want to be. And then through the application process, when I look at the resume, I'll just make sure that I connect you to the recruiter that's in um, the West region or in Florida or any other places. I saw a question in there regarding military spouses and I wanted to highlight, and I'm sure Jenna, you could touch up more about this. We actually are super like um, veteran military friendly. We have a whole recruiting team dedicated to that. So I know there are specific internships, not internships, I'm sorry, area manager recruiting processes that are specifically for veterans or people that are actively serving. And um, if you have a military spouse, that is something that we also do consider. So definitely look into that. Yeah, definitely. Um, with that, you will have to probably go to Amazon.jobs and look for like military pathway because usually you will have it in apprentice or mention anything about military veteran. Um, or if you do apply, I typically will direct the applicants to the military recruiter, but it's better if you go ahead and apply on your own um, so, so they see it in their pipeline. So rather than just like me telling them and they might forget, you know, there's a lot on their plate as well. Hope that explains it well. Um, I see quite a few questions asking about other, other roles outside of operations. So just to clarify, what we're talking about is specifically for operations. Um, I know a couple of people were asking about uh, engineering or um, IT roles. So just to be clear, this, we do have internships but this one in particular is focused around operations not directly related to some of these questions but operations is a field that i think um, in school like isn't really talked about too much even in like a business school and i like to say that if you're somebody who like walks into a coffee shop a store a restaurant and you see a huge line and you're like hmm, why is it going so slow? Why is it moving so slowly? What is going on? And you start analyzing like, oh, like that's wrong, that's wrong, that could go faster. Then you are definitely somebody who is meant for operations. You're thinking constantly on how do I make things more efficient? Um, and, you know, it, if that is something that like not interests you, but you find yourself doing that in the outside world, um, maybe think about operations, right? Well, it's a very, very, very diverse field that is at the core of every business. Um, truly, everything connects back into operations, not just how we get a product to somebody or how we get a service to completed. Um, but the people management skills that come within this field of work are definitely very unique. Um, I'm sure Lauren, Veronica, if you guys want to chime in and speak to that as well, it's something that um, a lot of people find themselves, you know, midway through their career jumping into because they're looking at how do I get more involved into management and how do I learn um, team leadership and things like that. Thank you very much. And um, do you know if we have, um, let's see, question question is tuition repay program i don't think we, we do, do not amazon, okay. yeah amazon as a from a corporate salary role we do not do any kind of corp, uh, we do not do kind of any sort of tuition reimbursement however our associates on the floor we actually do have really great benefits for them to you know pick up another um, actually work on their education further and we help them with that but for unfortunately for um, salaried roles and things like that we do not thank you Let's see what other questions we have here. Um, okay, question from Cody is, what if you don't have a degree or enroll in school, but have 12 plus years as assistant warehouse management? Um, I would say you, you might have to do a little searching on the amazon.jobs for roles that's more um, fit in within your experience because this is a role for entry levels only. And I'm sure there's like a higher up position that if you're interested in, uh, definitely free to check out. But the qualification for this is the graduation day. 
uh, within May 2021 and August 2023 with either a bachelor or a master degree. And it's an entry level role. So for um, like 10 plus years, we would love to have you, but maybe at a higher level or at a different um, job. Uh, William asked, am I in the right place for engineering internship position? Um, I have to say this is an area manager role. So it's not an uh, engineering internship. So I did post the link in the chat. So if you're interested in other positions, definitely apply to the link. On that piece, like we do have area managers that come in through internship, software engineer backgrounds, right? It really depends on mm -hmm. just because you go to school for a certain degree, that doesn't necessarily mean like you're going to fit into X example job type. So, you know, if operations does interest you, Amazon is a huge data driven company. If you're looking for data, if you're looking to do more analytical things like this job can provide you that. But do know that at face value in the very beginning, it is very people focused and people leadership focused. But Amazon is definitely not short of metrics of any sort. So we definitely do provide um, skills in that. Thank you very much. I was going to add too, just in terms of the internship program, like we had one intern that was with us last year that's actually coming back as a permanent position uh, this July with us. So I think it's a really great way to get your feet wet and figure out really um, as far as applying for this internship program to see if operations is really uh, something that you'd like to pursue um, in your future. So I think that's really important to note that um, this isn't a permanent role, so it's, it's really just it's an opportunity for you to figure out whether this uh, really could be a long-term success for you in the future. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just going to emphasize this again. I think somebody asked about a graduation question. I For an uh, area manager intern is... December 2023 through August 2024. So if you hear August 2023 and 2024, August 2024 is for area manager intern. A uh, full time area manager role is August 2023. And as an intern, you will not be working in the evenings and weekends. And the uh, shift schedule will look a lot different, but the shift schedule that I mentioned is for full-time rules only. If you have worked at Amazon before, you can definitely apply. Um, you just have to select, yes, I have previous worked at Amazon, and then we will do a background check to see if you're eligible for rehire. And if that's the case, then welcome to our interview. Jenna, someone's asking about uh, whether it's a paid internship and what that looks like. Oh, yes, definitely. It's a pay internship for sure. Um, I got a candidate, have a one-off questions. Um, if you have already applied, uh, somebody say, Jason, you have applied to the ops manager. Um, because I'm not hiring ops manager, I don't have access to that pipeline. So I am really sorry because sometimes with recruiting, you have to be very specific. So different team hires specific roles. So my team hires area managers full time, other teams hires ops manager or site leads. So unfortunately, I um, could not help you out there. All right, last one. If you graduate June, 2023, does that mean you're not qualified for the position? Uh, no, you are qualified because it's any time in between May 2021 to August 2023. I think they've got a lot of graduation questions here. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Um, hope we answer all of your questions. And again, if you do apply, it's really important to know that you must be wanting to relocate and wanting to work potential all different shifts, but also make sure your resume is updated when it comes to your graduation day. And when it comes to experience, we really look for people of all different kind of experience. So there's, it's hard to say like what stands out um, because area manager or the fulfillment center and internship, uh, we have so many different sites. So we really do welcome people from the retail space or customer services space or anything. You could even be a student athlete or be an engineer or be into supply chain. So that's for me, I when I look at a resume, I accept all the experiences, but you just cannot have um, 
if you are having like more than 10 years experience, it is best to apply for a position that um, is at a more advanced role. And that's really all I have for the last tip. Thank you, everyone.